Welcome to installment number 298 of the mitzvahs as enumerated by Maimonides, the Rambam. Today we have two mitzvahs. As we started talking about yesterday, um, we were saying how when somebody does give another person a loan, um, they are prohibited from asking for collateral, something that they can hold on to so that they are assured that the loan will be repaid. However, in the event that the high court, the, be, the base in, does deem it appropriate that um, collateral be given, we have today's mitzvah, uh, positive commandment 199, that states that collateral must be returned. That a person who does uh, end up taking something um, collaterally must return it. And in addition, there's negative commandment 240, which prohibits the person who took the collateral from withholding it when the person needs it. So if let's say um, somebody has a day job that they need a certain tool, they need their lawnmower, they need their certain kind of scissors, or they need whatever it is, um, then the person can, in theory, can ha take it collaterally if it was deemed by the high court, because as we said yesterday, it is discouraged. Um, however, if the person needs it for his work during the daytime, then they must return it when the person needs it. Um, and then again in the evening, they can have it and hang on to it. But while the person is in need of it, they must give it to them. Or, uh, or alternatively, if let's say it's the person's bed sheets that they need when they're sleeping, they need it in the nighttime, then they must give it to them during the nighttime. They can hold on to it during the daytime, but in the nighttime when the person needs their linen, you must give it to them for uh, the time that they are going to need it. And of course, this sounds so counterintuitive. counterintuitive. Why would, um, if I'm taking it collateral because I want to make sure that my loan is being repaid, then why am I giving it back to you, right? And it doesn't actually seem to make any sense over here. And in this, the Rebbe really explains how, as we've discussed in the past, there are three different types of mitzvahs. There's the kind of mitzvah that we understand logically. There's the kind of mitzvah that we completely do not understand. It is simply because God commanded us to do it. And then there's the third kind, which bear testimony to different landmark events that happened in our history. So focusing on the first two, um, you know, you would think when it comes to logical mitzvahs that that's, um, you know, maybe on a different plane than the illogical mitzvahs. But really, the Rebbe explains to us that the logical ones and the illogical ones, or maybe I should say just the ones we don't understand, really come from the exact same place. It's just that the ones that we understand were brought down in such a way that it they make logical sense to us, while the, um, the ones that we cannot comprehend, we do simply because God commanded us. But as we've said in the past, really, we are to 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 do every mitzvah in the same way even if it's a mitzvah that, you know a mitzvah don't steal don't kill which makes so much sense to us obviously we wouldn't do that but we do the mitzvah not because it makes sense but simply because god commanded us and here in this instance with this mitzvah of returning the collateral it falls into the same category it's something that although it does not necessarily makes so much sense to us. It sounds counterintuitive. However, we do this because it is a mitzvah, because God commanded us to behave in this way. Nothing more and nothing less. And how fortunate we are that we have been given all these opportunities to connect with God in ways that are so meaningful and at times really so easy for us. Sometimes not so easy, but we do all the mitzvahs in the same way nonetheless. Have a wonderful day.